So we have uh, Work Together 7-1. We have five parts that we're going to go through and do for Work Together 7-1. The first part we have here is going through and preparing our income statement heading. And it says the hair care salon has completed its worksheet, is now pre uh, ready to prepare its income statement. The first step is going through and preparing an income statement is the heading. Fill in the blanks for each row of the income statement for hair care salon for May 31st of the current year. Enter the current year as 20-XX. Do not abbreviate the month. So what goes on line one? Do we recall? Yep, name of the business, which is going to be Hair Care Salon. Line two is going to be the name of our document, which is called an income statement. Line three is going to be the date. Okay, And the date, it did tell us that we're preparing it um, for May 31st of the current year, so we're going to say four months ended, May 31st, 20 dash dash. And I got that one correct. So I'm going to go ahead and go to step two, which is going through, and we have to go through and take a look at which of these accounts are going to appear on the income statement and indicate the section in which it should appear. So cash. Now, here's the thing. What classifications appear on your income statement? There's only two of them. I'll give you a hint. They're on the screen. Revenue and expenses. If it's not a revenue and an expense, it does not go on our income statement. So what is the classification of cash? Asset, so we're going to choose neither on that one, okay? Petty cash is what type of an account? Asset, supplies, asset, prepaid insurance, asset, accounts payable, Smith supply. It's not an asset, I'll give you that. What's the word that's in there? Yes, it's liability because it has the word payable. Now, Candace Power Capital. Owner's equity, it's not a revenue or expense. Candace Power's drawing is also an owner's equity, so it's a neither. Now we get to income summary. Income summary is an actual a capital account, so it's not going to go on there. So now I'm to the word sales. Is sales a revenue or expense? It is a revenue, so you're going to choose the revenue section. Now, advertising expense has the word expense in it, so therefore it must be an expense. Now, cash short and over is actually an expense, even though it doesn't have the word expense in it. Insurance expense is an expense. Miscellaneous expense is an expense. Supplies expense is an expense, as so as utilities expense. So this one right here, they're just having you look at your accounts and then deciding if it goes on an income statement or not. Now, part three, we're actually going to go through and take our numbers from our income statement, and I'm just going to go through and uh, drag mine down a little bit because I don't have as big of a monitor as you guys do. And it says, use the worksheet of hair care salon in the body section of the income statement to go through and fill it in. So right here it says revenue is sales. Notice it has a spot on the right column for the amount of revenue. So I look up at my income, my worksheet, and it has revenue of 5800 So I'm going to put that on the right-hand side. I am not going to do anything with my percent of sales column yet. Now I'm going to go and continue and get my numbers for advertising, which is 750 My cash short and over, which is 3 Insurance expense, which is 610 Miscellaneous expense for 167 Supplies expense for 540 And utilities expense for 300 Now, what I need to do is I have to add up all of my expenses. So using my calculator, I'll add up 750 plus 3 plus 610 plus 167, plus 540, plus 300. 
and that gives me 2,370. That number should be familiar. Where else can I see that number? On the worksheet, what column? Totals for my income statement debit column, right? Right here, that is the total. So I'm going to go ahead and put my total expenses there as $2,370. Again, individuals go on the left-hand side. Totals are going to go on the right side. There's not a debit and credit column. So now we're going to calculate our net income or net loss. So if I look here, my sales is 5,800. My expenses are 2,300. Which one's bigger, my, my revenue or my expenses? Revenue. So that means this word right here has to be net income. Because we looked at it. We have 5,000 compared to 2,000. So I have a net income. Now, to calculate my net income, I'm going to take 5,800 and I'm going to subtract 2,370 and gives me a net income of 3,000 $430. Now that number should be familiar to me as well. Because that was on, on step three when it showed us the actual worksheet that was your net income. So I got that part done well. Now we're to step five, which is calculate your component percentages. Now, we take these numbers that need a component percentage, and we divide by sales. So the very first one here, it does tell us that we calculate and record our ratios for sales, total expenses, and net income. And it says round per percentage calculations to the nearest 0.1%, which means you need to have one decimal. Now, if I take a number and divide by itself, what is it going to equal? One. So. Sales is always going to be 100.0% because if you take it and divide by itself, it's going to give you 1. So it's, I'm going to do 100.0 because the directions tell me to have one decimal place. Now, to calculate my component percentage for total expenses, I'm going to take 2,370 and I'm going to divide by 5,800. When I look at my calculator, this is a spot where students struggle. My answer is 0 .4086 blah, 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 blah. I need to convert this to a decimal. How do I convert it to a decimal? Move my decimal places, how many to the right? Two. So I'm going to take my decimal point and I'm going to slide it over two spots. I'm going to go one. Two. So my decimal is now 40 point, what, not eight, nine. Agreed? Because I have to round, and the number after an eight is a six, so it's going to be 40.9. What does that mean? For every dollar that is brought in, 40.9 cents goes to expenses for the hair care salon. Now I need to do the same thing for my net income. I'm going to take $3,430, and I'm going to divide by my total sales, which is 5800 When I do that, this is my number on my calculator. I now need to move my decimal places, two to the right, one, two, and I'm going to have 59.1. So always remember your component percentages need to have at least one decimal place. So lots of individual steps they have on the working papers for you to see how to build that income statement. Go ahead and try that on your own. You will find that I have... Um, other items turned on for you to view and work on for Section 7-1. To read, I have the section for 7-1 turned on for you to read. You will also find I have the Section 7-2 on for you to read. And that really is our whole chapter.
is 7, 1, and 7, 2, preparing an income statement and preparing a balance sheet. Um, so again, we'll fly through this chapter relatively fast. You have an assignment due to me tomorrow, which is going through and completing the application problem 7-1.